What's going on guys? It's your man, Ed Hayes, the Wholesale Coach here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you all my strategies on how to become a concierge for your buyers. You wanna set yourself apart from the competition. You wanna be different. Check out this video all the way into the end. I'm gonna show you how to become a dominant wholesaler in your market by becoming a concierge for your buyers. Guys, let's go ahead, let's dive into it. All right, guys, we're here at the computer now, and I'm just gonna, I'm not going to read all of the stuff at the top. I'm kind of just going to dive right into this so you can kind of get the meat of this. I want you to hear the audio. I want you to hear how it kind of sounds. OK, so, um, you know, as it kind of states up above, though, you know, this is what sets me apart from my competition. You know, I work as a concierge for my buyers. I'm not. I reverse wholesale pretty much. So I find my customer first and then I go get them inventory. It's not the other way around where I'm looking for inventory and then I'm hoping that someone wants it. OK, so this is how you kind of set yourself apart from the competition versus just getting a bunch of properties that hopefully someone wants. This is how you find out exactly what your buyers want first and then start looking for properties for them okay so let's just dive right into this guy so here's the typical conversation flow so it's like hey is this john we're gonna use uh we're gonna use john for this example hey is this john yeah this john hey john my name is ed you know i'm just calling because of, um you know I'm reaching out because I see you have a property listed on goldsection8.com and I just wanted to see if you were interested in purchasing any more properties. And they typically be like, oh, yeah, you know, wh what do you have? I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of interested, whatever it may be. And then you tell them, well, John, you know, the difference between me and other people in the industry is that I kind of work like a concierge for my buyers. Um, you know, I can get you any property anywhere and typically for the price that you want to pay. Is it all right if I ask you a few questions to, you know, make sure that I can get you the types of properties that you're looking for and I can start going hunting for you? They'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Or like, you know, they may even just start like telling you the, you know, their typical criteria. In that case, make sure that you're taking accurate notes. Um, so like when you start asking them questions, they'll be like, okay, okay. So, so John, like how many properties have you purchased in the last six months? And then they'd be like, oh, okay, you know, I purchased like, uh, like 10. You'd be like, okay, so that's like. Uh, like one or two per month. I mean, is that a good number of acquisitions for you per month? And then it may be like, no, actually, you know, I want to have like so and so amount, you know, or whatever. So then you'll be like, okay, you know, or if not, then you'll be like, um, like, what would you like that number to be? Like, what would you, what would you prefer? How many properties would you like to be purchasing per month? Um, from there, you want to ask them like, you know, um, how are you sourcing those properties? You really want all of this stuff to be conversational, guys. So I don't necessarily need to kind of read all of this to you. I just want you to kind of hear the inflection, like the tones that I use um, when I'm when I'm saying the sentences. OK, so how are you sourcing your properties? Um, what types of deals are you looking for? What's your preferred price range for a property? And like how much are you typically looking to make back on your investment? Um, what areas and what areas do you prefer most? And, uh, like if you could choose any area, like which areas would that be? And then also like which areas do you like to stay away from? Uh, what types of properties are you most interested in? Like single families, multis, um, and then like how many beds and baths are we typically looking, are you typically looking for? Okay. Okay. And are you buying them cash or are you financing? Okay, that sounds great. And if I were to bring you something that matches this criteria you're giving me, what's the quickest you'd be able to close on that? And that's kind of how I kind of do that or whatever. So I'm not sure, even sure if I asked them like the, what, what types of deals. I think I did say that. Anyway, though, um, so, you know, after you get that information, you'd be like, okay, great. So like a little bit more about me, John, you know, as I said earlier, I work as a concierge for my buyers. I like to provide customized solutions to my buyers and essentially become a part of your team. I want to be the person that you go to uh, when you want a new property in a certain area. And I'm like a marketing machine. Now that I have your criteria, uh, you know, I'm going to go out and put out as many nets as possible to bring you what you're looking for. I mean, like, I don't really want to bore you with all the details, but I make a ton of calls. I've got house hunters. We advertise online just to name like a few methods. Um, but I may reach out to you beforehand before I put something under contract just to make sure if it's something that you'd be willing to move on. How's that sound? 
And then typically, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. And then I'm like, okay, okay, and perfect, perfect. So, you know, and always, um, you know, if there are like certain areas or certain types of properties um, you want besides what you've told me here today, definitely feel free to reach out to me. I love finding those hidden gem properties that nobody else can seem to get. So definitely reach out to me. I'm always here and available for you. And, you know, they typically respond really enthusiastically. And before you get off that call, you want to be asking them like, OK, I think I, you know, I think I got about most of what I need here, John. Can I just get uh, the best email address for you, please? Boom. You get the email address and you're like, and this this the, the best phone number to reach you at? And if no, then, you know, you get the phone number and you're like, OK, perfect. All right. All right. All right. Perfect, John. So I'll go ahead and let you go then. You know, thank you so much for your call. I mean, thank you so much for taking my call. And I'm looking forward to talking to you soon with some potential deals for you to check out. All right, John. All right. You have a nice one. Boom. And it's pretty much that simple, guys. And like after you have that conversation, you want to be entering all of the information into an online database for safekeeping, you know, into your CRM or Google Sheets, whatever it may be. Um, and then start hunting immediately. If their motivation was high, if you really got them pumped up on that call. Like start hunting immediately, find them something that they can move on, preferably within seven to 14 days after you actually talk to them on the phone. And, you know, if if there are any questions that I have written here that that, you know, uh, that you want to add or you want to take out or whatever it may be, um, you know, definitely customize this to yourself. And make sure that you make everything really, really conversational. You don't want to seem scripted. You really want to just kind of sound natural you know i kind of i try to like write these questions out in a very natural sounding type way and also guys just like i've been doing in my last few recent videos there is um a guide you can download this same template that you're looking at right here um with the link down below guys so definitely download that if you want to download it so then you can have it you can print it out you can have that available for you um you know, to actually be able to have these conversations, feel confident, feel comfortable and be able to actually write down stuff as you're talking to people, guys. So I really, really hope that this helps you guys. If it did, definitely hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Also, I put out videos every week once at least once sometimes more than that for a week this is gonna be a double up week guys so i may even have another video coming out this weekend so definitely stay tuned also if you guys need a coach you know if you want somebody to be able to hop on some of these phone calls with you kind of go with you step by step and kind of work through the processes show you the little things get you out of analysis paralysis guys definitely reach out to me the link to apply for my coaching program is going to be down below as well guys anyway as always, guys, <laughs> till next time, I am.